as you are watching this video right now, these shirts are live and we have a very limited supply. So if you want to grab one, please make sure to go down there. Firstdayfishing.com, first link in the description. These are just a bluegill buffet, man. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Jason, for actually making the artwork. I'll leave a link to him in the description below as well if you guys want any like artwork or anything. As I said before though, Kelsey and I got a limited amount of these made. We are hand packaging ourselves and shipping them ourselves. This is going to be something pretty cool too, man. A few of you guys who uh, do buy, we're putting lures, reels, whatever else in the package. So it's going to be like a little surprise. We have some pretty cool reels and just, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support with everything. And uh, yeah, this helps our journey and you know helps support us even further. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, if you could pick up a shirt, that'd be sick. If you do, tag me on Instagram and uh, I'm gonna be reposting everybody wearing them and everything. And yeah, let's get right into the video here today. The beginning of this year, Kelsey and I bought a travel trailer camper, as you guys can see at the back here, and we headed straight down to Florida. We've been here probably like a lot, like a long time. When did we get down here? It's been like since January, end of January. We went down to South Florida, we went to the right of Florida. Now we're in like central Florida. We've been staying at my sister's house. So the RV has been in storage, just been sleeping here, man. We actually took it out the other day though. We got some new kicks for it, some new tires, because I guess people say the tires that come on the RVs from China, I don't know, we did a lot of research, but apparently, those explode. As y'all just saw, man, we got the house put back on the truck. It's crazy, it's literally like our freaking house on wheels. So we're connected there, we got the kayaks up here, and uh, yeah, as you guys can see, these have kind of been our neighbors since we've been down here. We got this old boy right here, we got somebody else to the left. She craves adventure, man. We're literally gonna, it's crazy. We're gonna be going around the whole country in this freaking thing. Just look at this real quick though. This is absolutely insane. This is just like a glimpse. There's like a shadow. Look at all that freaking pollen, dude. It is all over my cover in the back here. It is just like literally everywhere. Severely infiltrated my nostrils. I haven't been talking the same. I mean, it sounds so weird. Yeah, so we are officially back on the RV life, camper life. We're about to head to my sister's now, load everything up, and then we are going to the west-ish of Florida. We really haven't explored there too much. We have got uh, a lot of things to talk about though. Goodbye, neighbors. I just feel like I haven't really showed you guys at all how we do things here. And I mean, we're still learning ourselves. But uh, what can I say, man? It's a vibe. You ready to go camping? Am I good? Yeah. That is a, that is a tight turn right there. All right, y'all, we've been driving about, well, what would you say? It's like an hour and a half it was total. So we maybe yeah, it for like an hour. Far. And uh, yeah, it's just weird because I don't know, it's a big freaking trailer. Like when I'm driving it, it doesn't feel that big. Like it actually feels a lot smaller than it actually is. But like you kind of got to get used to driving it around again, if that makes any sense. It's been a month since we've gone camping, so I'm nervous to get to the campground and set everything up again. There's, yeah, no, there's like a lot to do. Do we have a checklist? Do we ever make one? Like a lot goes into this. We need to make sure we're level, and then we need to put like everything on. We gotta get the water on, we gotta get the uh, sewer, Sewer. we gotta electric. get unhitched. So uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll see if we can get some good fishing in, and we're just gonna explore this western area of Florida that we really haven't been to. What is it? What's out there? What is it though? What is it? First he was barking at a uh, dolphin mailbox. It was like dolphins stacked up. He's our protector. Yeah. A scary face. It's so scary. Now it's tires. The weird thing is like he doesn't bark. No, he never really barks. So I don't know why he's like barking at random objects. You're gonna go left here. I mean the water's oh, the right, lake's there. right there. Yeah, okay. we're right here. You doing good back there, buddy? All right, so yesterday we got all set up. We got to this campground. We went to Walmart. We got a bunch of stuff. We made some camper pizza. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you saw some stories. Today we are heading out to a place that I've heard has a lot of good saltwater fishing. Also, we were talking to some elderly ladies that like live here, I guess, full time. And they said that there's a pond like right near where we're parked that apparently her son stocked with bass. I don't know how long ago. They've been here for a long time. So we might have to check that out.
today we are out here this is like we were not really planning to do this but we're i don't know this just kind of happened somewhere here in the west coast of florida we got the kayak down look how bare it is up here He's naked my truck's like <sighs> you can finally freaking breathe kelsey go show what we got going on here though. just waiting for um this guy to hurry up and then we're gonna launch these babies Right into here with all these mangroves. We're doing a little bit of crocodile hunting here. No, but realistically, I mean, salt water and Florida, it's a little bit windy today. It's a little bit chillier than it has been. I don't know how that's going to affect anything. I'm just putting some leaders on here right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, realistically, we have a chance of a bunch of different stuff. This is why I love saltwater fishing, man. You literally never know what the heck can happen. I mean, giant tarp, it could be in here. Big snook, uh, redfish, literally jack, literally anything. We're gonna put, uh, I think I'm gonna put a paddle tail on my one rod, and then on the other, we're gonna have like a twitch bait, one of those mirror, mirror, mirror lures. Yeah, um, get launched and see what we can do. That's the first time really these two kayaks have ever been in the water together. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, hopefully, yeah, we don't know. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, that one's a little bit wobbly. Hey, you saw that? Yeah, what was that? I think those are mullet. We're just kind of going with the flow. There's like a kayak rental place near here, so there's like a lot of other kayakers. So that's the one thing. So there's a bunch of kayak people. I don't know how, oh gosh. Oh, he just pooped. I'm just trying to get this as close to the mangroves as I can. But uh, yeah, today's one of those days, just whatever bites will take it. All right, so it was a beautiful day out on the water. We had some really nice kayaking, but uh, long story short, we did not catch any fish. And that's just something that like, I don't know, like what do you guys want to see in these videos? Like, should I put more of stuff, like adventuring stuff, like us kayaking and everything, even though we don't catch fish? Or just like, I don't know. I mean, it's a fishing channel, but sometimes I, I don't know. Anyway, I've been saving some footage that we're actually going to play right now. But before that, like, look at this. This was crazy. Look at all these mullet. Look at them all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, what the heck is going on here? I threw so many different lures in so many different areas, under mangroves, around mangroves, oyster beds, deep water, shallow water. I could not catch a freaking fish. I don't know if there were any fish around there. I don't know if there's too many kayakers. Maybe the weather was like too coldish. It's been kind of cold, but I don't know. There, there were so many freaking mullet like everywhere. And I was like, if there's mullet, wouldn't it be other fish maybe? But I don't know. I couldn't catch anything. I'm just a dude from Delaware, man. I'm going to use ice cubes for everything. But here's actually a fun day of fishing that I filmed when I was down south in uh, southern Florida. We are out here today day at a very special place this is actually the pond where i caught my biggest bass of all time and uh if you guys remember back to that video i caught uh yeah oh i hooked into a freaking absolute giant fish and they were here my good friend ryan over here uh if you guys want to check out his channel it'll be down in the description below make sure to subscribe and uh yeah dude what are we going to do oh <laughs> I, I was waiting for How a while long was that? <laughs> oh yeah good like five ten seconds oh, i appreciate man. the plug yeah man Fish are on beds in here. They don't call Atlanta Giants for nothing. We're after the bigs. The past couple times we've been here, he's caught like some seven pounders. I think the last time I, it was like an eight, nine, maybe 10. That would, it's just insane. It's just Florida. You never know what's gonna happen, dude. So we're gonna get out here and uh, yeah, man. Let's get a fish, dude. <laughs> well, this thing's kind of like a little. Uh... What's happening, John? Oh, God. All right, y'all. So as I said, this place is very special. We've come here a couple times in the past and just every time, it's just absolute craziness it's a beautiful day out here it's pretty warm and uh the sun is kind of going down i think they're gonna start feeding we got like a slight breeze on the water so what we got going on we have this hyper mag on a mock crush rod and then we have the big old long john right here i think this i don't know how many inches but just a big old freaking worm just like a weighted texas rig alaskan bull worm all right here we go first cast this is gonna be it this is gonna be the day we break the pb there are some freaking absolute like they don't even look real, some of the fish that I've seen in here. Watch, now I'm hyping it up. We're gonna catch the dinks. Like right near the shore there.
got a bit of a gunky bottom here. So this is like the first time I think I've actually ever fished this place where these fish are spawning. Really, I mean, if you've been around the channel for a while, I haven't really fished for spawning fish too many times. This water's a little bit murky, so you can't exactly see the beds, but I'm assuming like some bass are spawning and some aren't. I'm thinking, dude, that's the spot, like right where you are. I think that's the spot where I caught that five pounder, 5.5. To some man, that might not be a lot, but it's my PB. Just a kid from Delaware, man. Oh. Got off. You had one? Someone just moved like right there. Come on, Big Bertha. I could smell you. They're making us work for it a little bit here today, huh? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, Where chunky. You said that. <laughs> You're making us work for it. <laughs> well, first one of the day for me. Not, dude, all these fish in here are just so healthy. Look how fat he is. Oh. Fat oh. little fish right here. Oh, double? Double. No way. I gotta tighten my freaking drag. It's a big one. I think it is. Is that a big one? Uh, he's kind of doing some stuff there. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Oh, it's definitely not like a giant, giant, but I think that's a little bigger than that yeah, one. Yeah, dude, that's bigger than mine. And that means uh, oh. an Instagram story. Whew. That's a decent one. Yeah, actually, what do you, yeah, it's a little. That's about the two and a half you caught. Yeah, a little chunkier. He mm -hmm. fought, I gotta tighten that drag up a little bit. He was working me. Cheers. Heck yeah, dude. Ding, Ding the dinks. Clink the Clink dink, right? Dink. All right. Oh, someone just moved over there too. Oh, it's getting hot. If I see a seven pound bass on the end of my line, bro, I don't know if my heart can handle it again. What? You know what that is? There's a bed right there. I just threw this worm in the same exact spot. Yeah, no, I got a feeling, man. Yeah, you feel it? Yeah. The vibes are right, yeah, I think it's gonna happen. I got a feeling. This big worm, anything's possible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't really, as I said, fish beds all that much. I don't really know what I'm doing that much. But uh, every time we come here, the big worm is good. And we got one on the big worm. He got two right out of like the same little spot. So we're thinking those were both on beds. It's just this water's a little murky. Like you can't really see the beds. But again too, I don't think they're all on beds. And I think there's other species of fish in this water. I got hit out there. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh my God, that's a big fish, oh, that's dude. that's a nice fish. That's a good fish. I'm just gonna flip him up. Take your time, bro. Take your time. He was out there too. We've been casting yeah. close to this shore. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. That's a good fish. It's not like a giant, giant. Nice. That's like a good fish, dude. It looked like a little bit bigger when it was all the way out there, but okay. Yeah, I'm happy about that. It's at least that's three. A, that's a four, dude. Definitely way bigger than the first one I got. I would, I would weigh it, but my scale's all the way uh, yonder. Yeah, it definitely felt a lot bigger, <laughs> and it looked a lot bigger when it was out there. But look at that, there's a belly, dude. All that's a fish, big bro. belly. Eating good. Heck yeah. I wonder if there's a bed out there too, or if this dude's just free roaming. Either way. Big old worm. Let me turn around. There we go. Nice little fight, too. All right. Um. Yeah, what do you want to call it? Like three, I guess? Yeah, I'd say three and a half. That's a nice fish. I'll say three. Okay. <laughs> call it three. Oh, See you, dude. Very, very energetic. Yo, you ever, like, being in Florida, get a little nervous about the coconuts? Like, if they're all above you? Because <laughs> the other day, it was blowing windy so hard. Bro, I'm telling you, it's got to knock some people out, like, every year. Mm -hmm. Cooking in the RV. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish. oh my god. Okay, that's actually like. <laughs> yes. Whoa! What? Yes. Bro, yes. that is. Oh. That's a good one, dude. That is the actual tank. That is. <laughs> dude, it's, it's a spawned out fish. Like, this fish just spawned. Yeah, it's definitely not as fat as the other one. Just look when you put it that way, the gills flared out. No, it's, it's, oh a, it's a body of a seven, but the weight is like a five pounder. The head is ridiculous, bro. 
Yeah, this is this is the biggest bass I've caught in a minute. The, the mouth on this thing is huge. Yeah, that's a fister. Dude, when she came up, man, her mouth was wide open. I thought, I thought yeah. it was like a seven, dude. Especially when those like gill plates were flared, yeah. that thing looked giant. Yeah. I mean, that's a big fish. Yeah. Oh, are you on? Yep. Oh, I pulled it. Oh. Drop it back, drop it back, drop it back. Oh, oh. Took my worm. Here, you want a Christmas tree? You can swap worms all day, bro. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, y'all. Just drop that fish. Ryan gave me one of these crazy looking worms. Keep in mind, I'm colorblind. Look at this thing right here. He said it's like red and green. That's a big worm. Duck was jet skiing across the water. Let's try out the middle here. I don't know, you said there's beds over here somewhere. It's just, the water's hard to see through. If I could say one thing though, I mean, just look at these palm trees in front of us, man. The sun is shining. I got sunburned the other day when we were out on the boat. Like, I, I don't really do any more sun right now, but it just feels so freaking good out here, man. Definitely in the comments below, let me know what you guys uh, would be throwing in a body of water like this. I mean, this is just so much different than really like a lot of the bodies of water I've fished mainly in Delaware and other places. I don't know, last time we were here we caught one on a giant, giant swim bait. If you guys wanna watch that video, I'll leave that down in the description below. We've, I mean, we've caught some big fish on these big worms. It seems to be the hot bait here. I don't know if that's just like, let me know, is that a Florida thing? Cause I've tried to use big worms in other bodies of water. But I feel like it just, you know, like it, it hits different in this little pond lake thing. We're making a switch here. Obviously this uh, color works, but maybe it doesn't work. I'm sticking with the big worm though. I mean, as you guys can see, that's a freaking fatty. Since this water's so stained, we're gonna go with the darker dude right here. I feel like this year just flew by. Oh, yeah, I did. Even this year's fine. Bro, it's already like March almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah? Oh, there it is. There it is. Mm, oh, they got fight in them. Not a big and big, I don't think. Oh, he's taking me in there. Yeah, it's not a big and big. <laughs> taking me though. I respect it. Energetic. Whew. Nice little fatty, dude. Oh, he got bit by something. Oh, what the heck? See that? What do you think that is, dude? Snake? Gator, maybe? Star? Pterodactyl? That's a fish. He was running with it. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're freaking lively, dude. It's just fun fishing. Definitely not That's old, TV, man. old Big Bertha. Barely hooked that thing. Yeah, it's literally the, the <laughs> tip of the lip, dude. That's a good fish. They're, even those ones, they fight so hard, dude. Yeah. Like, what the heck are you feeding them in here? Whew. All right, y'all, that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Again, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out the channel, and uh, yeah, it really does mean a lot to me. If you're new here, or if you do enjoy my videos, but you're not yet already, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so YouTube actually lets you know when I put out a new video. It is completely free, and uh, yeah, man, best way to stay up to date. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to head over there. We've been posting a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stories, and everything and yeah man these shirts they are up for sale right now do not forget man if you want to get one i think they're going to go pretty quick we have a limited supply again though i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for all the support man thank you for watching this video let me know down in the comments below what else you guys want to see in florida if you guys want to see more kayak saltwater vids if you guys want to see more saltwater vids more big bass kind of videos or just other random stuff more camper stuff let me know if you want more like the rv travel and everything. kelsey and i are also going to be uploading on our other channel which is going to be more like a travel slash like everything not fishing related channel so if you guys want to subscribe to that i'll have that in the description or i'll put it up here on the screen but other than that man yeah that is pretty much it for this video here today as always man all i gotta say is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching See you next video. You wanna know just where